Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are old here, thanks. And if you are new here, you are welcome. Please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. In this tutorial today, I'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using Adobe Photoshop. Without any further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, go to your file menu, then you click on new. Then I'm going to use 1080 by 1080. So over here, I'm going to change it from inches to pixels. Then input 1080 by 1080. And leave your resolution at 300. Then RGB for social media posts. And if you want to print, then make sure that you change it to CMYK color mode. So this is for social media post. So I'm going to use ROGP color mode. Then click on grids. Here is our working area now. So now the first thing I'm going to do is to get the color I'm going to use in this tutorial. So go to your test document, then get your color code, Ctrl plus C to copy, or you can right click and copy it over here. Now go to solid color, Ctrl plus V to paste, then create a new layer, select your brush, press B on your keyboard to select a brush and use this bracket key to increase the brush size. Now make sure that this place is white and over here I'm going to click. So when I click it's going to give me this right now. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay then it will give me something like this so after this one now the next one then i'm going to bring this background here and i will take it to to this position then you click ok then after that i'm going to apply blur to it then go to your filter select blur gaussian blur then i'm going to make it 8.8 percent .8%, something like this then change the blending mode to hard light it's okay and the opacity reduce it to 40 percent apply your layer mask then select your gradient tool or you press g on your keyboard and blend this area okay so the next thing again we are going to our resource file and over here we are going to import this background here increase it a little like this then click ok now apply your layer mask select your gradient tool or you press g using your keyboard and blend over here and the bottom over here so you blend it all right so having blended the next thing now then we are going to change it to overlay then and the opacity we are going to reduce it to 55 percent then you will have something like this so having done this one then the next we are going to bring this image over here and take it up like this okay then reduce the opacity to 20 percent 20 percent and change the blending mode to hard light something like this then in, apply your layer mask then select your gradient tool by pressing g and blend the bottom here also the side here so you blend it so now having done this one then we'll go forward to import this background here then this one i'm going to reduce it like this then now apply your gradient tool then i'm going to use my brush over here 
then reduce the size of the brush then make sure that this place is black the color here is black now i'm going to clean off this area the edges All right, so we are done with that. Then I would like to increase it a little, something like this. Okay, then change it to overlay like this. The next one now, then we are going to bring this image here. Then take it over here. Now we are going to to change the blending mode to dodge light, I mean color dodge, something like this. Now apply your layer mask, select your brush and clean up this area. Okay. So you will now have something like this. Then the last one, then we are going to import our brush then import this paper brush over here then you bring it down position it here then increase the size okay so we are done with this background now so the next thing i'm going to do now then i'm going to import the image i'm going to place over here then go to your resource file and i'm going to import this one then position it over here then go back and import this one then i'm going to flip this one this way Okay, so you will have something like this. Now I'm going to select this tool, then convert it to smart object, then apply my layer mask, then select my brush or gradient um, overlay, then I'm blend over here. Okay, so having done this one now, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to bring their name. So I will come over here and this is the name Ctrl plus C to copy, then select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste, alright, now I'm going to, to change the font, then to Balo, and over here I will make it medium, then select this one, now go to your font color and over here i'm going to use this color then click ok now i'm going to reduce the font size like this then duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate and bring this one over here then go to your test document select this one then ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool highlight it ctrl plus v to paste so now i'm going to highlight this one and change the color to white then something like this and also reduce the size right so now we have this one then the next one now then we are going to copy this one that is the church name then come over here then we are going to import the church logo so here is the church logo so take it over here, reduce the size, then select your test tool. Now Ctrl plus V to paste and reduce the font size. It's 
something like this okay then control plus j to duplicate this one then bring this one to the center here highlight it go to your test document then make a copy of this one then control plus v to paste then control plus a to select all then apply vertical alignment to centralize it control plus d to deselect then bring this one down this way it's okay all right so having do this one now so the next thing we are going to do then we are going back to our test and we are going to copy this one control plus c to copy then select your test tool control plus v to paste then position it around here now then i'm going to make it bold like this all right then control plus j to duplicate it then you bring this one down then come over here and copy this one then select your test tool highlight it control plus v to paste and now i'm going to change the font color to red increase the font size then use your arrow key then to bring it down something like this so i'm going to zoom in now select the two and increase the size so now the next one i'm going to copy this one the theme then select your rent angle two then you draw a rent angle like this then remove the fill color apply stroke color then two percent for the stroke now i'm going to apply zoom so that I'm, we see it clear all right so now what i'm going to do i'm going to rasterize this one then select your market tool then highlight this one this way and i'm going to delete it then ctrl plus d to deselect now i'm going to draw a rent angle then rotate it hold your shift key while you rotate it then reduce the size position it over there then change the color to red use your arrow key then to take it in something like this now select your test tool change the font color to white ctrl plus v to paste now we change it from bold to medium and reduce the size then place it over here something like this all right so now i'm going to select this one and group it click here to group it now i will reduce the size like this then you click ok so after this one then i'm going to draw another rent angle like this then apply red color 
this color is too light so i'm going to make it dark i think this will be okay all right then use your arrow key then to take it up a little now the next thing i'm going to do then i'm going to apply a layer mask then select your gradient to you blend it this way then also like this then go to your test document and now we copy this one ctrl plus c to copy select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste then go back to this place and make it bold then you place it inside here so something like this now i'm going to select this two then you take it over here you can increase the size this way now i'm going to select the team and centralize it like this all right then i'm going to draw another rent angle over here like this then remove the fit color apply stroke and make the size two percent now i'm going to apply a corner shape at 23 percent then and i'm going to copy this one select your test to ctrl plus v to paste then you position it over here then select the two apply vertical and horizontal alignment Now I'm going to control A to select all, then apply vertical alignment. Then also I'm going to select this one and this one, apply vertical alignment. Control plus D to deselect. Then use your arrow key then to adjust it. Then I'm going to select this one. Control plus A to select all. Then apply your vertical alignment. Ctrl plus D to deselect. Now the team I'm going to use the arrow key to adjust it. All right. So we are done with this one. Then and I'm going to select the team and the test over here. Then I'm going to bring it down. I will bring this one down. Then apply your zoom again. Then why I'm going to draw a rent angle over here. It's okay like this then i'm going to apply a gradient overlay in fact so i'm going to use this color here so in my previous tutorial then you will see something like this so i'm going to use this color over here and the code over here you can see this is the code you can copy it down this one the code is here you can copy it down also this one and this one are the same this one and this one are the same this one and this one are the same so this is only two color all right so having done this one now so the next i'm going to filter blur and i'm going to use motion blur convert it to smart object then you click OK. So you see the infert there. Now I'm going to reduce the size. Now 
like this ctrl plus a to apply vertical alignment and you will get something like this ctrl plus d to deselect okay so we are done with this one so the next one now then we are going to copy the dates so i'm going to copy this one then select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste now i'm going to break this one over here change the font color to white then change it from bold to medium now increase the font size then select your test tool copy this one then duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate highlight it then ctrl plus v to paste reduce the size of this one then use your arrow key then to move it up something like this okay so now the next thing i'm going to select select this one then ctrl plus j to duplicate and i'm going to bring this one over here then go to your test document and i'm going to copy this one then select the first one select your test to highlight it ctrl plus v to paste and i'm going to break it this way now highlight this one then come over here to copy this one ctrl plus v to paste and reduce the size so we have this then select it and adjust the test okay so now we are going back to copy this one then we are going to import the location icon we are going to import it so here is the icon for the location so we are going to reduce it then zoom in all right now select your test tool and ctrl plus v to paste then change the font color to black reduce the font size then i'm going to select this one and group it then ctrl plus a to select all apply vertical alignment ctrl plus d to deselect all right so i'm going to reduce it so okay like this the space then I'm going to make it 5% so okay, like this then the next one I'm going to do I'm going to select my dates here and the time hold your shift key while you select it then select your test tool and I'm going to change it from medium to semi bold So something like this now I'm going to import the light flare then change it to screen and we are going to reduce 
the size then you position it over here then apply your layer mask select your brush and i'm going to clean the edges here then this is what you have then go back and import this one then i'll position it somewhere here then change the bloody mode to screen then position it around here you can see the light effect on it now so that is it that is all about this tutorial thank you so much for following please do kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you will not miss any of my future video then also if you want to order for any flyer please you can go to the description then a link is there you can order any of your flyer through my fiber account and if you want to also create a fiber account then the link is there you can use it to create your fiber account also to body account you can also greet greet your own account over there all the link is in the tutorial use it to greet your own and optimize your channel thank you so much i really appreciate